Fucked and drank all night. Acted all alright. I know what you're thinking. This is a bad idea. And I completely agree. As you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be attempting to give myself a tattoo. And I'm not sure about like this whole lighting setup, but you're just gonna have to deal with it because I don't really have anything else. I'm pretty sure I should get everything ready first and I will sit on the floor. Hopefully the setup will be a little bit better, but I doubt it, really. Who are we talking about? Like, you know, the setup's not gonna be any better. I'm just gonna kind of get started, I guess. I'm just gonna quickly shave because I'm doing it on my ankle. So I'm just gonna quickly just shave up my ankle. I have already drawn on like what I'm planning on doing, but I'm pretty sure I will need to like fix it a little bit. There are many different ways that you can do this, but I am just gonna do it my way. And if it's wrong, I'm sure you'll let me know. But realistically, I would have already done the dumb thing that I've done. Like you're watching it, so it's already been done. So like telling me that I'm doing it wrong is probably not gonna make much of a difference. Just so you're aware. I've also never done this before. So I have a feeling it may take me a long time and I may have to do it in like more than one sitting. This is also the ink that I got. It's off eBay. So this is just tattoo ink. Um, Lizard Star tattoo ink in true black. And it just says it's non-toxic and everything. It's got like a thing in there. And I'm gonna have to get that out and I feel like it's gonna go over us. This is what I am planning on doing. This is a symbol for like a female, so I'm going to be doing that. Isn't that cool? Also, I didn't tell you, um, I'm filming this on my phone because I'm just trying something different and I'm also going to be editing this on my phone, so I just kind of want to see like the differences in editing and stuff and like which one I like more. I'm just going to start making it. I'm just kind of going to go off what I remember from like seeing other people do it. It could be wrong. Tell me all you want, like I don't really care. So I'm just going to start by like doing a bit of this and then I'm just going to like tape it on at the base of the pencil and then we'll see what happens from there. I also don't know if you can use the same needle like more than once. Like if you're just doing it on yourself. Like I'm pretty sure you would because like why would you make a new one every time? But I could be incredibly wrong. Like that could be the worst thing anyone has ever heard. But this is what I've got so far. So it's like, it's like that. I just wanna just see. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh my god, I literally just did one like little pot. Oh my god, that freaking hurts. Right. I'm gonna do the thread just because then it'll take me longer. And I'm procrastinating because I'm scared. <laughs> this is gonna take a very long time. I've been filming for a very long time. I'm gonna wrap this and then I will show you guys when I'm actually gonna start. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. Could be right, could be wrong. Honestly, I don't fucking care. So, I have just wrapped, I'm not sure how I'm gonna show you. I have just wrapped the thread up. You can see that? Now, the ink. I better keep this for, oh gosh. I better keep, okay, I'm not really sure. I'm so scared. Okay. It's just worrying me that like the foot, I like touched myself with the needle and like wanted to cry, you know? And you have to like push it in your skin. I'm just gonna start by getting the ink and putting it into the little container. I'm not gonna put much in because I don't have much faith in myself that I'm actually gonna be able to do it. So I'll show you my setup and then we'll sterilize the tip of the needle, wash my hands, and then we're here is where I've just done the ink, like I've just done like a couple of drops in here. Like here's my little holder for my needle <laughs> and my spray and everything. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna try and sterilize the needle now. I'm not sure how that's gonna go. I'm really scared I'm just gonna burn the thread, but that's okay. I'm just gonna kinda go I did kind of burn it, but that's okay. It's sterile now. This is like what it's looking like, if you can actually see. So it does look like I've done a lot, but I'm like very conscious of the fact that I probably haven't. I'm like, when I wipe it away, there's probably not going to be much there. Oh, here we go. It's because I left it too long and it's kind of just like set. So you can see the little dots, but they're very faint. 
So it is very clear that I really have not done a whole lot. We're just going to keep going over it. the cross but I've like finished it so that it's done like it's not as dark as I want it to be like for like for the final it's like swelling now because I've stopped so yeah it's definitely not as painful as I thought it was gonna be I'm just gonna go around the circle and then I'm pretty sure once I get that like dark enough so that you can see it I'm gonna just stop at that and then I will go over them like as needed you know I feel like even if it turns out like really shit I'll still be happy with it because I did it myself and I'm gonna remember like and with the filming this, like, I'm going to remember how much fun I had doing it, you know? That's pretty much it. I am just going to, like, I'm just going to put some of this, like, ointment on it. I have just cleaned it and it's bleeding. It's very swollen. <laughs> so this is all I'm going to do for tonight and then, and then, like... In like a couple weeks or so, I'll redo it, go over it again, make it look all, make it look a lot better. I'll probably have to go over it like a, a couple of times, like in different in different sittings. Tomorrow when I wake up, I'll like take a quick video of it just to, because I want to see how it looks like in the morning. I'm excited to see if it's even still there. I'm like really happy that I've done this. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you want to do it, like you're probably going to do it anyway. Um, just make sure you have good ink and make sure everything is sterile because you don't want to get like infections and shit. I'm gonna go to bed now and clean up all of this mess. Honestly, thank you for watching because you like set the time out of your day to watch this. I really hope you're not using this as like an informational video. You better not be sitting at home doing a tattoo whilst watching this because that would not be good. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Tell me why. I probably don't care and also like let me know like your experiences with stick and poke I guess I probably did a lot of things wrong and I'll probably wake up and like have to get my leg amputated but it'll be worth it you know